Sometimes we have an internal dialogue, I know I do, <laughs> of critical thoughts. I think books have been written on this or, where people describe how to, to talk more kindly to yourself. And I, I think that's something that traditionally has not been something that's acceptable to talk about, what's going on in our own minds. But I think that God loves and knows us so totally and completely that part of a relationship with God is being honest about the way and what's going on inside of us. He's a healer, not just of our physical ailments, but he wants to heal our emotional and spiritual wounds as well. And I think that's part of the human condition. One of the things that I love about Ether 1227, it's this scripture from the Book of Mormon that we always talk about, weak things becoming strong. Yeah. But the very first words of that say, if you will come to me, I will show you your weakness. And then he says, I give unto men and women weakness. So it's not something that's a surprise to God that we have weakness, that we have humanity. And that human condition sometimes is very self-critical. And so God's not angry at us when we do that. He says, I know that's part of the deal of being human. And so once I realized that God's not angry at me, for these thoughts I'm having. God's not angry at me of the failures I've had in the past. God's not angry at me about that, but it's not a flaw in me, but it's actually a feature of the plan of salvation. Yeah, I think one thing that can sometimes get us into this mindset is the idea that we are trying to become perfect. We are trying to progress. We're, Jesus Christ is trying to transform us. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. We need to improve, we need to grow, we need to get beyond where we're at right now. But that can also lead us to have negative thoughts about ourselves, that I'm not enough, I'm not good enough. And the reality is that God's love is unconditional and that our worth in his eyes is fixed. We are not worth any less because we made mistakes or because we struggle. In fact, he values us and he appreciates the struggle we're going through to become more like him.